How's it going? I'm Andrew with Investors Hub. A lot of stuff happened this week, but we're going to keep it to five things. So here's five things that uh, happened in the market and finance this week, and also, you know, some stuff to uh, look forward to in the future. So jobs report 850,000 new jobs in the month of June, which is good, a little bit more than we expected. That's disproportionately weighted towards the hospitality industry, which isn't surprising because the hospitality industry was disproportionately hurt by the COVID crisis. However, we're still down, I think it's like 2 million jobs since February of last year. So that still hasn't uh, gone anywhere near fully recovered. So Richard Branson's going into space on July 11th. They made the announcement yesterday. Uh, he's trying to beat Jeff Bezos and Jeff Bezos was scheduled to go into space on July 20th. And uh, SPCE, the Virgin Galactic's ticker symbol, uh, SPCE went up by 25%, should I say rocket it up. Now, I'm no eccentric billionaire. I wish, but I'm not. But I feel like space travel is not really something you should be rushing into, right? You shouldn't really be competing with someone uh, because you know, space flight is one of those things you really don't want to screw up. There's no, uh, there's no AAA to tow your spacecraft back into orbit or put it back together. So Branson was quoted in a Verge article as saying, when we return, I will announce something very exciting to give more people a chance to become astronauts because space does belong to us all. Surprised he didn't add, but mostly me. And you know, I'm super duper excited for our Wayland yutani space future. Yeah, you gotta have that uh, awesome corporate libertarian dystopia. So the Krispy Kreme IPO did not take a huge dump, which is friggin' crazy. They popped onto the open market a little bit lower than what uh, the Krispy Kreme people and the insiders wanted. They were targeting, I think, like $20 to $23 a share, and they popped onto the market at $16 a share. But I don't care about their feelings. I care about the little guys, us, the people that buy things at market value. And people did. They piled into it. $16. It ran up to $21, which was actually about where the Krispy Kreme target was. Uh, however, it's selling off pretty hard today, so I don't know how good I feel. Another interesting IPO popped onto the scene, which is DD, ticker symbol DIDI. -I. They're a, a Chinese company. It's effectively Chinese Uber, but they operate in 13 countries. It's mostly China. Uh, interestingly, they have got a lot of companies that have hands in their company, uh, one of which being Uber, right? Uber was originally competing with them to be in China, but they sort of gave up on that and ended up just buying a like a roughly 12% stake in DD. And we also have Alibaba, Apple, and Tencent that are either on the board of directors or shares or both. So they sold off hard at their IPO, but they popped out of the grave, and then they started selling off again today. So our boy Vlad and Robin Hood got slapped with the biggest fine ever by FINRA, uh, $70 million. And the FINRA investigation uh, showed that Robin Hood had bad servers, was approving people for options trading who shouldn't be options trading. Uh, and they're also like misreporting account balances. They weren't doing a very good job of keeping track and reporting how much money anybody had in their particular account. Uh, and yeah, in a huge stroke of we don't care, the very next day, Robin Hood announced that they would be IPOing under the ticker symbol Hood. 